Winery that's sustainably sourcing their ingredients and aging their wines in a cave that would make Batman blush. This is really cool. Fox 40's senior sommelier Gary Gelfand is in Granite Bay with more behind the scenes action from La Cavier Cellars. There you go. We are in the cave, La Cavalier, and this is awesome. First off, Mike, I, I said it to you at 8 o'clock. Am I saying it correctly? La Cavalier. Le Cavalier. Le Cavalier. There you go. You got you to gotta know right here from this man because this is his place. We're in the cave right now, and uh, tell us a little bit about your, your winery. This is really, really neat. I love the echoes, but what's the reason behind the cave? Well, the reason behind the cave is we wanted to really recreate what, what I call a small incubator, where we can take care of the wine the way we should with the proper temperature, the proper humidity, and also prepare for our future winery in Penryn, yeah. so we have the experience for it. Yeah, might as well do it right if you can, and you certainly can. All right, your wine, uh, you've been making it since 2019. It's out there. We saw the tasting room earlier. What do you, what do you, what do you make it? What, what, you're, what are you famous for, the Cabernets, the Pinots? Well, we have a really wide range because, as you know, we're really into sustainability. So we have the wines that people want to drink. So we have, of course, good wines from Placer County, Barbera, Tempranillo, things like that. And then we also have great Napa Red, Sauvignon Blanc from Sonoma, Pinot, Pinot Noir from Russian River. I love it. And the way you do things, because you're talking about sustainability, I love this. We were just looking at the way the bottles are lined up. Uh, reusable bottles and no cardboard involved. Well, that's it. When we package, what's really important for us is we want to have a zero footprint. 32% of the carbon footprint of a wine bottle is the glass itself so you can schedule your pickups at lacelle.com we'll come back and pick up the bottles and then when we we uh, bottle them we put them in those units so we totally eliminate the use of cardboard I love it. Right now we're looking at a room there too, which is incredible. So this cave, you built this cave, you got that meeting room right down there. What goes on in there? The meeting of the minds. You're talking, which, which flavor are we going to have next? Which, uh, you know, which wine? Well, it's, it's, it's a dining room really okay. to uh, use and uh, experience the wine uh, on a private level with uh, the pairing. You know, we talked about how important the pairings are, but really the idea for us was really, really to use that as a technology incubator to produce fantastic wines. Yeah, and there you go. Here's some fantastic wines right now that you poured in a glass for us. How, how far underground are we actually right now? Well, we're about 65 feet underground. There's a lot of dirt above us right now. Whoa. How long, so this was a, a process, I got to say, for you. Well, yeah, it took about four years. Okay. I mean, it's not your run of the mill. And for us, it was a great experience. It really allowed us to develop what we're going to do in the future and be more efficient at it. Yeah, amazing. You did like an incredible job. And then back over here, obviously, down there, you've got all the, the tanks and everything. So you're, you're all set, equipped, ready to go with everything right down here in the cave. Well, absolutely. The other thing is we wanted to test uh, the gravity processing. Yeah. And if you look up, up there, Gary, yeah. you can see the blue hose. That's where all the fruit comes in. 60 plus feet above us, uh, we have optical sorters that are sorting every berry to ensure that only the best berries make it into the fermenters. It's unbelievable. He's got it down to a science. All right, come back here before we send it back to you guys. Uh, we'll just grab a little uh, wine right here, do a little bit of a toast. Uh, I love what you've done with the place, Mike. It's fantastic. There we go. A little cheers. Bingo. Check this guy out and go check out that tasting room in Newcastle right above the, I like to say, because we know where the Valaro, the gas station is. Right above that, you're going to find an amazing tasting room. Again, Mike, thanks so much. Yeah, and don't forget Get Gary, uh, we uh, you can make reservation at lacelle.com, okay. and we can also schedule uh, bottle pickups. I love it. I think I really like this guy a lot. I do, and I like his wine. Bingo! All right, back to you. Uh, turn that into an uh, Airbnb stay, please, because totally. I will stay there Isn't and I will never leave. Right. Beautiful. Okay, thank you, Gary. Stay long.